You're gonna shake my hand? Yeah, well, I should. You think you think you you think you're in a position now where you can be brave enough to shake Vegas' hands like this? Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another special, vibrant, energetic, beneficial episode. They probably clicked off the video. But I think, uh, hijab had cornrows. Indeed, I did. Yes, we were supposed to record a video with the cornrows, but it's unfortunate that the cornrows have have been uh, no, I've got eliminated. Have I sent you, I sent you a video. Isn't you it? I was a nutter, original mad, 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 mad nutter, original mad, 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 nutter, original mad, 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 mad. So you grew it for the sun, isn't it? You just wanted to grow. I'll be honest, I just grew. Up. I didn't have any like. Worship intentions. Okay, that's somewhere. that's brilliant. The video is already going down. Uh, we're gonna try and bring it up, and uh, let's start with a bit of trivia. If you were to pick from uh, Optimus Prime or Megatron, who would you pick? I don't know to... who those two are. Did you forget who I am? <laughs> Right, that's uh, that's uh, so we're going to be reacting to a clip from Transformers. Yeah, these are in essence cars that turn into robots. Yeah, and I've, I've, actually... he I've heard of that before. I've seen that. I've seen some clips yeah, yeah, yeah. of that. So before. the graphics and everything are just crazy. Mm. But there was a scene in there, and we're going to react to this scene. Who sent you here? Where do you think you came from? You think you were born? <laughs> no, you were built and your creators want you back. We all work for someone. There are mysteries to the universe we were never meant to solve. But who we are and why we are here are not among them. Those answers we carry inside. That's pretty profound for a, a Hollywood movie, to be honest, whose mm -hmm. job it is to, mm -hmm. I mean, pass on all sorts of messages. I was a bit surprised to see something like this. Mm -hmm. And I thought, why not bring the big dog? Mm -hmm. Why not bring the heavyweight? Mm -hmm. Why not bring the main guy of Speaker's Corner. I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's one of the elementary discussions, isn't it? That we look at ourselves and we realize, you know what? There, there has to be a creator. We look at a car, we think there has to be a mechanic. We look at a painting, we think there has to be a painter. Well, Aristotle said something really interesting. He said, if the art of shipbuilding were in the wood, we would have ships by nature. Now, the point here is that, you know, when we look at a ship, Although it's made from planks of wood, no one's going to look at it and say, well, that's, that's been uh, contrived, if you like, from natural forces. Likewise, no one's going to look at a car and think, well, that's actually just, you know, all these things, the metal and the plastic and the, all these silicone, all these materials, natural materials, have been made so um, just by a random event. No one thinks like that. Then what's, what's the problem with people not doing the same when it comes to us? What, what do you think is the difference? Well, the new atheist argument is that the evolutionary mechanism makes uh, any theistic explanation superfluous, right? So they say that we don't need any theistic explanation. Well, that's not good. That's not a good argument because really and truly, first and foremost, it doesn't answer anything about the cosmos. The well, cosmos. Big Bang, surely we, we've got the Big Bang. How does it explain complexity and what? harmonious complexity? How does it explain the fact that things are moving in the system of complexity and uh, harmonious complexity that it is moving? It's by chance, millions of years of trial and error, isn't it? So chance is, is a label we put on things we don't understand. Because that's the reality of the situation, you know. Randomness is something which is, uh, which itself needs an explanation. Because really, randomness is the god of the new atheists, or, or the god of people who don't believe in an intelligent force. Some people even use the word or terms "mother nature." Yeah, that's very. Popular it's it's kind of like personifying the universe. Yeah. Right. If you think about well, people that, like Jim Carrey, actually say, "Oh, I, I got this from the universe, or the universe called right. out to me." I'm the proof. 
that you can ask the universe for it. So this this kind of personifying the universe is in effect really deifying the universe. Is is making a god of the universe. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So what we say is that the the universe can't be god, and the reason why the universe can't be god is because it's made up of so many complex different parts, and anything made up of complex parts is generated, is made of, is made itself, and is contingent, is dependent. And we can't have an infinite regress of dependent and contingent things. We we will have to have a necessary being which brings everything into existence. And so the universe can't be God. But when people use or speak of the universe in personified terms, they are speaking, you know, to a a, a kind of natural yearning, yeah, to find a an explanation which makes sense of the variables that we have around us, which is our complex variables. And so, yeah, you're right to say that, you know, no one's going to look at a transformer like that and think, well, that it just came about, you know, uh, from from natural processes coming together. You mean together. Optimus Prime, don't you? I mean, there's, slip, there's Freudian slip, isn't it? I don't know what that is. I am Optimus Prime. Some people might be watching, they're like, okay, hijabs, although he doesn't have his cornrows, uh, let's, let's take what he's saying uh, on board. But what about this God that he's saying? How comes he doesn't fulf- how comes he doesn't have to fulfill the criteria of a complex being needing a creator? Well, because that's what we're saying. Look, God is the break of the infinite regress. Okay, it's, it's the break of the infinite re- regress. Because if you keep going back infinitely regressing, how does he become the break? Though, I mean, what what's the kind of evidence? Just because we say he's the, the evidence? No, no, the, the evidence is. We, we say that it's, impo- it's an absurdity to have an infinite regress of causes or dependent things. Because if you had such infinite regress of dependent things or causes and or causes, then we would never get to a position where we have things, where, where we have what we have now. In other words, you can't. it's impossible, it's an absurdity to have things which depend upon things ad infinitum. You need a base. Like, give me, Let me give you an analogy or an example, yeah? If you look into the ocean or to the sea, right? Now, you haven't seen the ocean floor. You haven't seen the sea floor, right? Mm. But you know that there's an ocean floor. You know, you infer that, that there must be an ocean floor, a sea floor, right? Yeah. And that is because water in this analogy, right? It depends upon the container or the sea floor in order to, to, to be held up. Right. Likewise, dependent things which the universe is, right? And, you know, all the things within the universe are dependent, depend upon other dependent things. And if that went on, it's the equivalent of saying, like, you can have sea f- water without sea floor. You have to have a foundation for everything. And that foundation is something which all things depend upon and it depends upon nothing. And that has to be the case to break the infinite regress of dependent things. And it has to be the, uh, the case to break the infinite regress of the de- um, cause, causes that could, could occur. There you go for all you doubters out there. <laughs> for all you haters out there. Will the cornrows be coming back? I don't know. We'll see. It's time consuming and a waste of time. So that's a yes then, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Any word to the haters, Hijab? Yeah. All right, guys, let's leave it there until next time. I was a notter, original mad, 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 notter. Assalamu alaikum.